Cleveland House Flippers. What is up, freaks? Today, 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 we are going to be flipping a house in the Cleveland area for one of my clients. His name is Shalem. He's from Los Angeles. The property in the Cleveland area, a little suburb called Brook Park. We're going to be going over this flip. See, that's what I do, folks. Holton Wise, we've sold over $200 million worth of real estate. We help investors from all over the country get in the game, whether it's rentals, Airbnb, Section 8, wholesaling, house flipping. We do it all. If you guys want to learn the business, this is where you want to be. If you're just trying to get into flipping in the Cleveland market and you're going to do it on your own, I'm about to give you some... I'm trying to think of the word. There's just so much goodness is, 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 is coming out of what I'm about to give you. I'm about to give y'all a smorgasbord of free information. Also, if you want to go one step further, if if you're like, oh, give me all this info, but I want more. I won't do the deal with you guys. Just like Shalem is doing after this video, folks. Click the link below. Book a free call with my team. We'll walk to you. We'll talk to you. Walk you through the process of how you could partner with my team. Because if you haven't noticed, I said Shalem is from L.A. L.A., folks, is, is kind of far from Cleveland. It's going to be pretty hard for Shalem to get in there and paint a wall in a house in Brook Park, Ohio. My team, we offer flipping services for investors from all over the world. So if you're local in Cleveland, if you're in LA like Shalem, it don't matter to me wherever you are. I just told, I just had one of the guys resetting some lighting in here and I told him, I was like, dude, you don't even need to worry about adjusting that sign, bro, because I am going to drop it during the show. And he's like, oh, it's funny. No, you won't. But I fucking did. Anyway, uh, so folks, back to what I was saying, right? If you're interested in flipping, whether it be on your own, uh, pay attention to the show. If you're interested in flipping and you want to partner with us, pay attention to the show and then book a call with my team. And then as for you, Shalem, let me stop dicking around and let me get into the numbers on your deal. Let's go. I am James Wise and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal you want to be here yeah we're gonna go out of state but of course you know my team's gonna take care of that let's check it out all right we're gonna pull up a deal ski now a lot of people a lot of people they like flipping houses in the cleveland market because it's cheap and that's true folks the cleveland market is cheap very very cheap this particular house is incredibly cheap uh, but, word of caution, word of advice, this is 2022, uh, it is cheap in Cleveland, cheaper in Cleveland than most everywhere else in the USA, but it's not as cheap as it once was, right? So if you're watching videos, or looking at price points, and reading stuff on Zillow with a little tear in your eye, like, why isn't the pricing the same as 2014? I, nothing I can do about it, bro. There's nothing I can do about it, man. That's... That ship has sailed. It's gone, folks. Cleveland's still cheaper than everywhere else. But guess what, folks? The real estate in 2022 was here. It was like way the hell down here in 2020, uh, 2014, and that's probably never coming back, right? So Cleveland's still incredibly cheap. Uh, but if you're trying to do like a flip for like 130, I'm going to try to, you know, get you in there for that acquisition cost. Uh, but you're going to need to finance the repair separately, right? Like in years past, you could have got deals like this for an all-in cost of like 100, 130. We're, we're, we're moving up, right? You know, 10 years ago, the ARV on this is probably about what we're going to be into the deal for, right? Now we're looking at like an exit price of 200K, right? So the moral of the story is, folks, if you're watching my videos or looking at this stuff, know that in 2022, you still need less money in Cleveland, but you do need more money than you used to, right? The recession that we came out of, the housing crash, that was like a once in a probably lifetime crash, right? That's probably never happening again. So if you're out there and you're watching this and you're like, dude, as soon as the market crashes like it did 10 years ago, I'm getting my money in the game. Well, bro, you'd have a better chance waiting for Jennifer Aniston to come give you a little jerky jerky. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say for those of you that are fucking idiots is just like Jennifer Aniston touching your little pecker. That's never going to fucking happen. So let's focus on what is going to happen and let's look and analyze 
glorious deals like this. By the way, speaking of Jen, holy crap, still hot as hell at 50. Man! I think she's like 55 now. Anyway, this show is not about Jennifer Aniston or the show Friends or the cast of Friends or Ross. Oh, Ross. Ross was my guy, bro. Y'all ever notice that dude on like, he's like on the five, like Jesse Jesse Waters. He looks like Ross. Anyway, so this deal. It's in Brook Park, Ohio. Good deal, okay? Uh, 164.5. It's been on the market over two months. It's not moving, right? Interest rates have ticked up, so uh, sellers are not getting what they wanted, right? The address is 18750 Holland Road, Brook Park, Ohio. Solid B-grade suburb. If you don't know what that means, folks, check the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods that I've linked below. If you're at all the neighborhoods on a Cleveland in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale, this is a B neighborhood, and this is another flip uh, that I love to see new flippers doing. Okay, this is going to be just a cosmetic flip. Okay, we don't need to get in here and try to tackle flips that require gutting the property. That's where you get a lot of unknowns, a lot of issues. We're going to try to make our money buying undesirable properties at steep discounts by negotiating a good offer, right? This one, it's been on the market a decent chunk of time. The market much hotter today than 10 years ago. I've been talking about that for quite some time now, but not as hot as it was like four months ago uh, when it was the most insane market I've ever seen in my entire real estate career, right? That is cooled off. There's a little bit of fatigue there. Uh, so you get sellers who are starting to lose confidence, right? This person, they've been dropping the price of this house, and we're going to try to get them to drop it even more because look at it, dude. It's not appealing. Like, I could pretty much, like, smell the smoke coming from, like, the grandpa who, like, smokes, like, four packs of Marble Reds in this thing, right? Like, ugh. Like, I'm sure nobody goes in this house and it's like, yeah, this is awesome. Like, nobody looks at this kitchen and is like, yeah, dude, I love this kitchen, this is so cool. I cannot wait to cook Thanksgiving dinner in this kitchen. Nobody does that, right? This is a market. This is a city in the market, I should say, where you're going to be looking at first-time home buyers, and first-time home buyers are not going to be digging this thing. It's like from the 80s, which is great because what we need to do is just come in, spruce up some life, dude. Get rid of the tar, the nicotine. Get rid of this ugly carpet, fresh carpet, lighten it up, agreeable gray paint, probably whitewash the uh, fireplace there, wood paneling, nobody likes that, right? We're going to remove that. Take this fixture right here, right, this fan, dude, this fan, you know, you know what happens if you have a fan like this? You typically ride in the back seat of your car as a child in a bench seat while your mom smokes four packs of cigarettes and there's freaking ashtrays in your car, folks. You'd be lighting up the freaking car cigarette lighter. Y'all remember that? That's what that fan reminds me of. That's not giving anybody good vibes, you know? So we got to get rid of that. Totally redo this kitchen, dude. Vinyl Allure, new Vinyl Allure flooring in the kitchen. They didn't show us pictures of the bath. I'm sure we're going to need to redo that. So we're going to put matching Vinyl Allure flooring in the kitchen, the bath. We're going to get rid of these cabinets, uh, put a new countertop in. Home Depot lowest quality cabinetry, probably go with a granite undermount sink. Stainless steel washer and dryer, not that $250 special right there. We'll get like a $500 stainless steel one. Stainless steel fridge. Stainless steel stove, right? You'll have new counters right there. Nice stainless steel range hood. This thing will be looking good. You see this wood flooring, right? If the wood is too messed up, uh, it's not a rental. It's a flip, so we could just go carpet uh, through the rest of the house. Carpet's like a nice cheap way uh, to make it feel fresh, to make it feel airy, right? And that is pretty much all we got to do, right? Just pretty much come down here. I don't know what this carpet actually looks or smells like. Probably like crap. So I'll probably replace that, lighten all this stuff up, and that's pretty much it, right? To do this whole house, I think we're looking at about $35,000. Now, if after we put in an offer and we get an inspection report back and there's some issue, like maybe we need a roof, right? The roof's probably like seven grand on this, so that's not going to work for our deal. So we'd have to go back to the negotiation table. But right now, I'm thinking all we really need is to do is 35 k worth of work, right? And then if we get that work done to it, this house 
I could sell this for 200000 to first-time homebuyers. Not a problem. So what that means is we cannot pay 164 and a half. And it's good that the seller has been dropping their price. It's good that the house looks gross. It's good that the house probably smells like Marble Reds, which, by the way, folks, Holton Wise TV is not sponsored by Marble, but Philip Morris. If you guys are interested, I am interested. Please work with us, dude. I will sell some cancer sticks, man. Hook us up, dude. I love the Marble, man. Smoke that thing out of his fucking neck. I'll smoke some shit out of my neck, dog. Hook us up. Sales at HoldenWeiss.com. We're looking for show sponsors. Marble, we want to talk to you. But anyway, uh, so it's good. It's good that this house is gross. Smells like throat cancer, right? They're dropping that price. We're going to come in. Cash offer. Aggressive. 129 That's what I want. I want to get it for you for 129 right? 129 Again, 10 years ago, we probably could have been exiting this deal. At 130, right? That'd be the exit price. But now that's our entry price. Then the 35K reno, okay? Uh, so if we can pick it up at 129, sell it for 200, like I'm planning, with only having to do 35K in repairs, that's going to put $20,000 of profit in your pocket after I do all the legwork, right? I will sell it. It's going to include my commission. It's going to include the commission I pay to the buyer's agent, right? Just a smooth, quick, simple 20K. And these are the kind of flips that I like to do for investors because when you're coming out of state, uh, you're doing things passively, you don't really want to get involved with a big hundred, two hundred thousand dollar renovation where you're doing structural this, you're doing that. You don't want to go into a thing where like you got like a hundred thousand dollar budget. And I'll tell you this, folks, when you start a rehab and the budget's a hundred K, your odds of going over time, going over budget, much bigger than when they're just simple. New kitchen, new bath, paint, get rid of the freaking throat cancer smell, right? That kind of stuff is not hard. It's pretty easy to predict the price. I've done it a bajillion times. That is a nice, safe, solid way to earn some money, right? Who wouldn't want to make 20 k in like six months without having to do anything? It's when you get into those bigger projects that it gets real risky. So if you're flipping, you're new to flipping, these are the kind of beginner flips I want to see you guys doing. If you're flipping out of state with my team, these are the kind of ones I want uh, you to get involved in. It's really uh, not that crazy of work we're doing. Like what we're really doing, folks, I is being smart about our negotiations and really making the money the day we buy it, right? Like the day we convinced that seller to take 129 for this is the day that we made that money. Now, here's the thing. We don't know if they'll take 129, but hey, newsflash, pro tip, guess what? House flipping, it's all about how many offers you put out. It's a numbers game, right? You got to analyze a ton of properties, make sure the number you're presenting to the seller makes sense for you. And then if they take it, great. If they don't, you move on to the next and the next and the next and the next. And you're going to hit on some of these. Will you hit on all of them? No, right? It's like baseball. You hit on 30% of them, you're a friggin' all star. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.